Dear Heavenly Father, I lift up to you President Donald Trump. I thank you for his faithful service in the midst of a very difficult time. Father, I pray that more would rise to encourage him because he's still a human being created in your image. He had a father. He had a mother. Holy Spirit, I pray that he recognizes that people hurt for him too. Jesus, I pray for Joe Biden, former Vice President Joe Biden, that you would bless him, that he would have a greater revelation of who you are. I pray for our nation, for the people right now listening. Uh, you did not want the fighting. You wanted wholeness. You wanted restoration. You wanted repentance. You wanted unity. You wanted truth. You are the truth, Jesus. Oh God, I pray that we, all of us, would stand up for what's right what you say in your holy word. Jesus, I pray that we would have your fear in us. That we would hear and do and not just hear and let the words come in our ears. Father, for President Trump, that you would comfort him, strengthen him, as he is all alone. For those who want to attack a human being, that they would be convicted in their hearts, that they would be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Oh, Jesus, Psalm 24 says the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, it all belongs to you. The United States of America belongs to you. Our lives belong to you. Our finances belong to you. Our families belong to you. The leaders in office belong to you. Oh, God. The breath that you have put in our hearts belongs to you. Oh God, and I pray for everyone hearing this right now, that they would give their lives to you, that they would give their hearts to prayer, to crying and weeping and tearing their clothes, fasting and mourning to the ministers of the word of God, that they would Stand with that which is right and not limp between two opinions. That they would choose life. That they would not support that which murders, especially the unborn. That the institution that you, Holy Father, have put in your scriptures of marriage. That, that's the only institution. And anything outside of that, to call it blessed of God, would not be blessed of God. Only that which you say in your word between one man and one woman.
Father, in Jesus' name and by the blood of Jesus, I pray that we would stand up for the oppressed, for those who don't have a voice, for those who are marginalized. May we still love those who have chosen a different lifestyle. They're still human. They still need love. But they still need a savior like all of us. Jesus, give us your words. I and my fathers have sinned. My people, the Jews, have refused you. Jesus, open their eyes that they may see. Father, by your Holy Spirit, pour out upon all flesh in these last days. Old men to dream dreams, young men to see visions. That we would unify because we are because of the love that we show one for one another as Christians. Jesus, you have commanded that everyone who names the name of the Lord should repent, turn from iniquity, seek righteousness and wisdom and your fear. Forgive me, oh God, for anything that's of the flesh right now. Forgive us Father, this is not about one candidate or another. This is about the very breath that you have put in humanity's lungs. Lord Jesus, may only your name be glorified. Turn your face once again upon us that we may be saved. For our children, that they may be a beacon of hope to those who don't have a voice in the different countries worldwide. In Jesus' name, strengthen them, protect them against the wiles of the evil one, against Satan and his minions. I pray your blood, Jesus, over this message right now. In Jesus' name, I thank you for the opportunity to pray. Prayer can save a nation. Lord Jesus, you have given Brother Reinhard Bonnke the promise that America shall be saved. Father in heaven, by the blood of Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit and the fellowship of the sufferings of Christ, I claim that promise too, just as our forefathers have begged you to keep your eyes on this nation, on, on, on the people. In Jesus' name, thank you. I thank you. Hear our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.